Hi and welcome back to my channel. I realise in the last video the sound is quite quiet. I haven't got a mic, um, so I'll do my best to sound louder. Okay, so this video is going to be a card reading, a quick one, overall energy, and just how you do that basically. So I like to ground myself and clear the space and the cards around um, that I'm using. So I ground myself by taking a deep breath in, drawing that energy from through my chakras all the way down through my chakras in my body, through my feet, through my earth star chakra and into a giant crystal in the ground, maybe about eight foot down. Uh, other people I know go much further and just do it intuitively. So with the deep breath, draw the in and all the way up and then all the way down until you feel calm and peaceful and connected um and i like to connect with the divine energy source god jesus the christ light they are um, the energies that i call around me and protection from archangel michael of course and yeah then i like to use my symbols um to clear the energy these are um, connected to the heart chakra. Protect your ears if you have earphones in. <laughs> I like to do these around the space, over the cards, over myself, wherever I feel intuitively drawn to do. Also, sat here, um, another great cleansing tool sat here on my cards is a massive chunk of selenite. Uh, I'm not sure that's just wiping out there, but it's like made up of lots of lines. Uh, it's a really great cleansing um, tool for your cards and energetically just having it on you or around you. It's a, a high vibrational crystal um, for the new paradigm. Definitely connected to Lemuria, I think. And also, so the cards that I've got um, that have been cleansed and shuffled, uh, the Lemurian deck, uh, Beyond Lemuria, by the lovely Izzy Ivy. Absolutely stunning cards. Beautiful. So I'm going to uh, shuffle them now and get a card or see what comes out for the collective. I set my intention in my mind. What I'd like to know. Ooh, <laughs> I got some jumping. Hang on. Um, lots of cards jump then, so <laughs> I'm back. I had to collect them. The big burst of energy. Wow, and there we go again. Okay. We got it. Oh, wow. High heart chakra. It's ecstatic bliss. That is beautiful. Yeah, I definitely feel like the energy since the solstice have uh, been a stepping through. Um, I really feel like we completed what we needed to do, be at a certain frequency. And um, so many people are awake now, and that's really, really good. Um, you could see it in the light of, well, not many people are awake, but yeah, there are compared to even a couple of years ago, it is insane and um, it's really wonderful actually. Sorry, yeah, so we're really coming into our high heart chakra and that is where we find the ability to um, connect our heart chakra and our throat chakra and are able to speak our truth. And I think that many of us are doing that, standing in our sovereignty now. Let's see what else wants to jump out. If any. What a lovely energy since the solstice though, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I really feel like our gifts are coming together. I feel connected. 
and communication co-creation wow yeah that is basically what i was just saying we're like coming together collectively and co-creating which reminds me of it makes me think uh, in lemuria they the manifestation was so pure and it was so different to atlantis atlantis is when it became more 3d and uh yeah we didn't get it quite right with the uh, the christ-like consciousness um there's so many more of us now able to connect to that christ-like consciousness and work with it collectively because it all works together we all our unique gifts and energies come together to make the whole and uh yeah that's really what i'm seeing there and you know this is what our timeline was here to create a bit like atlantis but on a higher frequency and that's what we've done now and yeah it's not over of course because we're still in the creation process um but <laughs> oh, uh, how, how can I put it into words? Our timelines are um, shifting all the time, but we are working towards one goal, which is raising the frequency of ourselves and the planet. And, and that is really joy to see that we are creating together. And the crystal keys. 22, oh I do love a 22, what have we got here, 6, 21, 22, crystal keys, wow, I'm seeing the light codes coming down through the soul star chakra, through the third eye and the crystal, wow, there's some light codes being activated now, yeah, fascinating, so I love how the colours of the cards sort of blend together. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so we're getting new downloads. They may feel like I don't know if um you've ever felt it when you get downloads or chakra activations and it feels warm energy coming through you I feel like if you feel activations like that or buzzing at the back of your head or in your ear or pitch change in your ear people say it's tinnitus but no you know with downloads um, I feel like we'll be getting a lot more of them and coming into our gifts and particularly into the higher chakras yeah and uh spontaneous ideas follow those yeah follow those spontaneous bursts of excitement ideas yeah um little bursts of joy <laughs> bubbles make me think of little light code bubbles of joy <laughs> yeah so that's brilliant um i won't pull any more i'll just keep my video short for now i just want to um yeah, just tap into the collective and see what was happening. And it's, yeah, it's really exciting. We are co-creating for our higher chakras. We've got new light codes coming in. Um, and yeah, we're, well, we're on a high vibration. It's good. It's, well, I can feel it. It's wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.